Welcome to its traffic. In this video, we are going to discuss the question paper of Sipsagar district. And this is shared by one of our members in Telegram group. You can join in Telegram group to get the question paper of other district and also to discuss the problems related to computer science. This question is one of the toughest question paper that I have seen. The whole question paper is full with uh, tough questions and I don't think that in metric you will get this level question paper. So here first uh, two one word question. The first question is the clause that is used to search the data within the range. When you will get range in MySQL questions that directly the answer will be between. After that the next question. The operator that display only those records that do not satisfy the specified that do not satisfy the condition. What is the operator? This is not operator. This is a logical operator. After that, fill in the blanks. That fill in the blanks are directly given from the book. So who are in touch with the book, you will definitely know the answers. The first one is the ping command is used to verify the connectivity between two computers. The container element include both on and off tag. A list inside another list is called nested list. The number of column denotes the degree of a table. MySQL statement is terminated by a semicolon. Then choose the correct option. The first one, IP address can be automatically assigned in a network this will be DHCP server. DHCP full form is dynamic host control protocol. Then which of the following is used to define style for a single HTML page? This is inline CSS. Oh sorry, this will be internal CSS. And uh, inline is used to define the style for just for a single tag and external for multiple pages. What is the output of the C program? Here you see A starting from 25 and it will go till 27 so the output will be 25 26 and 27 so the correct answer is option 2 which of the following loop run faster in C language actually all the loop will have same speed but depending on our situation or uh, scenario we will decide what type of loop we are going to use then number 4 one more question these questions are I think all the questions are for two marks but here given only one mark. So first one is write the difference between POP and SMTP. POP is used to receive incoming messages and SMTP it is used to send email messages. After that function of TCP it establishes communication between computer over a network. After that what is CSS? It is used to control the style of a web document or web page. Padding property, it is used to define the style of the content and border of a cell. Then write the syntax for list style type property. The answer will be list style type then colon value. You, If it comes for two mark, you can also write the values like for order list, the values are none and capital a small a these things you can write how images are added in a web page images are added in a web page by using img tag then the ne next question what is the need of global variable a global variable can be used by any function at any time in a c program if we declare the variable outside the function, then it can use by all the functions. But if we declare the variable inside a function, then it can be accessed only within that function. That type of function are known as local variable. Then this data abstraction, this is from chapter 10. Data abstraction is used to show only the essential data or information to the user and hide the implementation details from the user. For example, suppose you are driving a car. You, uh, while you are driving a car, you do not know how engine works or how the car mechanism works. So this is example of data abstraction. Now output of the following code segment here see, this is a nested loop. Here I have two counter variable week and days. In week, value is 1 
and this value is 7 that means week it can run only once and uh, inside the week one more loop will be there next uh, days in a week that will execute 7 times and also in printf statement there is week and day option so the first output will be week 1 and in nested loop it will execute like day 1, day 2, day 3, day 4, day 5, day 6 and day 7 then number 5 question these are 2 marks question there are 12 questions first one is use of ARP and ping command ARP it maps the IP address to MAC addresses and operating system list the mapping of this and ping command it is used to verify the connectivity between two computers principal of TCP and IP TCP used to break down the packets into several pieces and transfer them over a network and IP they are responsible to transfer the packet to the destination then what is uh, two features of HTML it is a very easy and simple language and it is very easy to make effective presentation because it have many formatting tags what is the use of unordered list and description list and unordered list is used when the item of the list is not in a specific order and description list it is used to group the related terms with their definitions what is constraint constraint are the rules that we can apply to the data in a table for example primary key and not none what are the rules for naming a table in mysql you can write these rules like table name can have maximum 30 characters a table should begin with alphabet reserve words are not allowed then list the relational operators there you can write this all greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to this uh, total six operators are there this you can write equal to you will have to give one more equal sign i have forgot to give there what is the meaning of count and count star count means it's count the number of values in a specific column or expression there should be value if there is no value then it will not count and count star it will count the number of rows in a table whether there is value or not it does not matter it will just count the number of rows write a c program to display the elements of an array in odd positions so this way you can write we'll declare an array and we'll have a counter variable after that we'll take the input to the array and we will display uh, while we're displaying we are uh, while we are displaying the array we will have a condition like we'll check whether the position is odd or not if it is position is odd we are going to display the value otherwise will not so this will be the answer you can pause the screen and you can see this output oh, sorry see the code next define data hiding and data binding this is from chapter 10 from abstract uh, i think encapsulation data hiding is the process of hiding unwanted data such as, as restriction and data binding it is used to bind the data members and methods together define object object is the basic unit of an object oriented programming and class it is the prototype where from where we can create the objects and what will be the output of the following code here we have a pointer variable and we have a variable there we are assigning pointer to the variable x then we increase the value of the pointer by one so after when we increase the value of pointer even the main variables value will also get changed so the output will get as 10 now comes three marks question they are all are programs only so i have written the programs there you can pause the screen and you can see the programs and if you need explanation of these programs you can write in comment section definitely i will try to explain it again
here next question write a strategy to find the summation of all the even numbers stored in an array so we can have this strategy we'll have a variable sum and where we are go, uh, going to store all the even numbers and we'll set the sum as zero after that we'll use a loop and we'll check all the element whether they are divisible by two or not if they are divisible by two we'll add the number to the variable sum and when the loop ends we'll display the value of sum so this way we can do it next question write a c program to display the characters of a string so we can have this one we'll have a character variable and we'll have two integer variable like int size and i here i have declared inside int uh, character only it should be next line it should be like uh, int size and i and after that we'll take a character input after that uh, we'll take the si take out the size of the string by using str alien function and after that we are going to display them by using as a character by using for loop So this is long question. Question number five explain five categories of MySQL command. You can see from here. Then question number nine write the HTML code to create the following page. This question I'm going to explain in next video because uh, by writing the answers I'm now feeling bored by typing all the answers. It takes time, and uh, we are going to explain this answer in next video. So stay tuned, and if you need a uh, question paper of different districts you can visit my telegram channel you will get there and also will we you can discuss uh, the problems that you are facing with uh, computer science and any other subject in that group definitely someone else will help you thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye